Tom here from Lawrence Systems. Before you buy Synology NAS here in 2025, we need to talk about something that's been quietly moving into the Synology NAS ecosystem over the last few years, and it's starting to feel more like a shove than a nudge. Back in 2021, Synology started trimming down their supported drive list. At first, it seemed like they maybe were just curating for stability in their enterprise and rack-mounted NAS servers, which I can understand as those clients expect full support performance as listed by Synology in their marketing materials. But now with their upcoming 2025 series, it looks like they're going all in on first party drive lock-in. And yes, that includes home user NAS devices too. This is from their April 16th, 2025 German press release, which you'll find linked down below. Now this press release was in German. I did use Google Translate to change over the page. So excuse any grammatical errors. I'm not a native German speaker, but it seems pretty clear to me that after success in the high performance series, the company is now also increasingly focusing on the in-house Synology storage media for models of the Plus series which will be released 2025 and onwards. They go on to say, with our proprietary hard drive solution, we have already seen significant advantages for our customers in various applications and scenarios. Goes on, for users, this means that the models of the Plus series, which will be released in 2025, only Synology's own hard drives and third-party hard drives are compatible with Synology certified hard drives and offer full functionality and support. Plus models released up to and including 2024, except the XS Plus series and the rack mount models do not change. In addition, the migration of hard drives from existing Synology NAS to a new Plus model will continue to be possible without restrictions. This is kind of interesting that I guess I can migrate, but I can't set up a new pool. It's a little fuzzy exactly how they're going to roll this out. So at least they're telling me that my current Synology older NAS that is still in support and still getting updates won't brick itself by finding it with incompatible drives. But they are saying there's going to be some certain limitations if you use drives not listed in the future. And that's what they see right here is the use of compatible and unlisted hard drives will be subject to certain limitations in the futures, et cetera, et cetera. I'll leave a link to this so you can read all of it. I've said it before, locking down hardware doesn't make systems better. It just makes us more dependent. If you're as frustrated as I am, make some noise, ask some questions, push back. The market listens when your money talks. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Drop your comments down below. But I think I know where most of you stand on this. And in other news, uh, TrueNAS25.04 came out just yesterday.